late fall is the perfect time to dress up the front of your home with corn stalks, hay bales, gourds, and of course a pumpkin. Gardening expert Mark Cullen is here with some tips and tricks that will make your home and garden the ultimate Halloween treat. And Mark, there are two kinds of people. You yeah. either have the creepy, scary front of the house, right, or you'll have the Autumn display, which That's is true. which is more me. I did load a picture of my house. This is oh, traditionally you? what I do at the front of the house, oh, and I go that. and I go autumn, oh. and I and I do all do all that. Cool. The kids want me to go scary, I like but it. I kind of like this. I, I don't like scary <laughs> nearly as much. And one thing, scary is sort of like dollar store disposable, right? And what I like about what we're doing, you and I, and so many other Canadians, is that we're using simple, we're using local, to a large degree, we're using what's in the garden, we're using color, and uh, so today, I want to talk just a little bit about what you do with your pumpkin, not between now and Halloween, but on the 1st of November. That's right. After you've carved the face yeah. in it, yeah. and Halloween is over and you've blown up the candles, yeah. don't yeah. chuck this guy oh. in the garbage. People actually put them in the garbage or, or the green bin. It's 99% water. So think of it this way. Would you take a bucket of water and put it out to the garbage? No, no, you wouldn't do that. So take it, put it in the garden. If you don't have a composter, put it in the composter, of course. If you don't have a composter, put it in the garden. You can leave it there and do nothing, or you could take a shovel and just cut it into pieces and let the frost uh, draw it down into the soil, and it's only going to be good for everything that grows. So I won't be drawing all the city's rodents to no, my backyard no, 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 no. too no. much for the winter? No, no. It's and really good for the soil, really good Really for good for the soil. And might I add, the same is true for gourds and the mini pumpkins, and what about corn stalks, and I, I brought yeah. some ornamental okay. grass. What are you going to do with this stuff? Right. It all goes in the composter. Or if you like, break it into small pieces, run your lawnmower over it. Right. That's okay for the blades? This is totally okay for the blades. Okay. Yeah, your lawnmower is pretty tough. Okay. Uh, which brings me nicely to straw. Now, I brought a bale of straw here, Carolyn, and yeah. there's a reason I brought it because you notice you had, you have straw at the front yes, of your place, always. right? Don't throw that out. Don't, I, don't I throw put it out. in my daughter's Ford and she makes it, she uses furniture. That's she perfect. Uses. We all need a daughter that needs furniture. Uh -huh. But if we don't, uh -huh. The berry called strawberry is called strawberry because it likes to be mulched with straw. So for viewers that have strawberries, use the straw that you use for decoration yeah. after Halloween to dress your strawberries for the winter. And I might add, if you have garlic, because October, early November is the time to plant garlic. I don't know if you knew that. No. But it is. This is when you plant garlic. Okay. So I'm planting my garlic now, and I'll take straw. And I'll mulch my garlic in the late fall. You're starting to shiver. I know. Is it, is it that cool? Chill. It's a little chilly. <laughs> I get I get cold fast. <laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna fix that in a minute. <laughs> you're gonna mulch your garlic. Just think about the little bit of work you're gonna do after Halloween. Vampires. That'll warm you up. <laughs> yeah, the vampires. I didn't even get that. <laughs> but you're you're absolutely right. Okay, well, I love this that you can do that and reuse all of those decorative items. Do you know where did we start carving pumpkins and why and how? Do you know? Uh, this? I, I, don't do you know this I don't know precisely. I don't know precisely. No, what? I don't. I don't. Something to do with Guy Fox, wasn't it? <laughs> so much for crib notes. You. <laughs> Forget no, no, that. This I can tell you how to grow important. them. I can't tell okay, you about now, these okay, so if, I did, if I did want to grow them, is there any point? Yeah. There's no. Are you recommending growing pumpkins in your in your garden? Well, I grew this one. You so need, yeah, but you well, need I bet sun. Your garden. Yeah, my, you need a big garden to grow pumpkins, which is why you'd be smart to go to the pump, go to the country, take your daughter, enjoy the experience, right? Pick a pumpkin. Um, they love heat, they, and they're a vine, so they travel a lot. And they're related, by the way, to all of these gourds and squash. Great big family. It's a great big family. It's called the cucurbit family. And we won't get into the details. Just remember, they're heat seekers. They love they love sun. They need space. And dang, don't get rid of this when you're done with it. Mark Cullen. No, are you kidding? Thank it's you. a resource. It's not a waste. Thank you so much.